Hello and welcome again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is the 29th of April and this time I'm bringing you some news regarding the Oya as the manufacturer of the Android micro, micro console is looking to find a buyer that can absorb their rather large mounting debt. Now, as we all know at this time, Oya initially raised about $15 million in funds from investors, then added another $10 million to the money pot from the venture debt company Triple Point Capital. Now, of course, doesn't include the $8.5 million that they got from the rather successful Kickstarter campaign back in the day. Now, a confidential email has leaked and the extent of, well, how just how much money they owe has become clear. Now, this internal document, which was written by the CEO, Julie Ehrman, explained that their recent debt restructuring negotiations had been unsuccessful and that they now needed to find a buyer ASAP. And here's what she had to say, quote, Given our debt holders' timeline, the process will be quick. We are looking for expressions of interest by the end of this month. Our focus now is trying to recover as much investor capital as possible. Now, of course, this is the fir far from the first time that they've actually sought to be purchased. Last autumn, they repeatedly held talks with several Chinese technology companies, and they also reached out to Amazon and Google. And, well, they also tried to have a little bit of a tie-in with the Mad Cat's Mojo micro consoles, as well as smart TVs and various set-top boxes, but still failed to ignite any real interest. And despite this... Julie Ehrman still thinks that they've built something valuable, and here's what she had to say, quote, We believe we've built something real and valuable. I continue to read tweets and emails with our fans who play Oya every day, and our catalog is now over 1,000 apps and 40,000 developers. We have the largest library of Android content for the TV, still more than Amazon. But to be honest, despite what she might have to say, it's pretty clear that Oya is in a lot of trouble. It's pretty impressive that they've managed to last as long as they have, but it seems like their debts are just getting higher and unfortunately they're just not making any money, or at least not as much as they might need to actually turn around the rather huge amount that they actually borrowed from or have from investors and then borrowed or whatever that they've, they've done over the years. Oya had a really success, successful Kickstarter campaign, as I said, 8.5 million. But after it actually came out, it was kind of met with a, ah, this is it. And it was just a round of disappointment for everybody involved. In fact, um, our good friend Spoonie Kipper, who has done a few videos for us in the past, did an unboxing of the Oya and actually was a Kickstarter backer himself. And he just expressed how bitterly disappointed he actually was with the whole experience. He was supposed to get special Oya for being a backer and he never did. And it was a whole rigmarole trying to get it. And then when the console finally arrived, it didn't work properly. Interconnected problems. And the overall thing was just a bit of a disappointment. And of course, ever since Oya was actually released, we've had about 1,001 micro consoles announced. And then released or not released or whatever. But we've had lots of announcements for micro consoles. We've had lots of releases for micro consoles. And to be honest... None of them have done particularly well, but the Oya has probably got to be the most catastrophic failure, or at least the most public failure anyway. Um, the other micro consoles I haven't really heard too much about, but the failure of the Oya is pretty much public knowledge at this time, and it seems like, unless they buy a, get a buyer, sorry, um, they're pretty much done. I don't see them lasting much longer, to be honest with you, which is a bit of a shame. They had a good idea, but unfortunately it just didn't work out. So, it seems like we are finally going to see the end of the Oya era, unfortunately, but... It just didn't work, you tried, but unfortunately just wasn't enough. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.